Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for the semi-final for the Euros, which is match day six, I believe. I'm going to show you my plans, which aren't worth copying because they're pretty basic and stupid. But before we do that, let's see what happened in match day five. Top scorer for match day five, the quarterfinals was Rie Louis. Hopefully I got that about right with Dame to Kerhera which I assume there's a pun in there somewhere, but I don't know what it is. Uh, with 58 points, well done. It was a very low scoring week for most teams. So 58 was actually very good. That was Kunde got nine points. Magnan got seven points. Apart from that, Captain Foden six. Oh look, Saka got 11, very good. So that was a good score. And of course, nothing on the bench. Top of the league is Floris with Lakaka FC. They're on 361 points. And this game week, Captain Gunde for 18 points. That's the way to go. Put your captaincy on a defender, it seems. Pepe 7, Costa 7. And that was pretty much it. As for me, we need to scroll down to 11th. There I am. I got 49 points. It was Gunde 9, Cancelo 6, Costa 7, Captain Gakpo 6. He nearly got a goal. I think they should have given him the goal. It was He would have wanted the goal. The defender didn't want the goal. Anyway, oh, and your mail got six points. So that was nice. Regarding my team, I have six players not playing. That's Fernandez, Musala, Rudiger, Cancelo and Costa. They're all knocked out. And then Carvalho is suspended. So ideally, I'd have 11 players from day one because one, we're going to know the starting lineups. And two, I've got more players to find out who the duffers are to bring in the substitutes. Whereas if I was going eight from day one and seven from day two, that gives me less opportunity to move the lesser good players on. Now, my strikers I'm all happy with. Yamel, Mbappe and Gakpo. I've had them for a while. They're fine. So starting with the keepers, I want the Spanish keeper, Simon. There he is. Simon, 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 whatever. And then regarding the defender, I've looked at these and I think I'll probably go Saliba, De because he's clearly been very good. And then it's between Hernandez and Upper Meccano, probably saying it wrong, but Fernandez is more highly owned, so I'm going to go for him because if I get the choice wrong, he's the one that's going to hurt me less. So I'm aware this means I have no English defenders, I have no Spanish defenders, but I think I'm kind of all right with that. Regarding midfielders, I think I want to go for Olmo, and then it's between Kante and Saka, or possibly Rodri for my next one. For now, I'm going to say Kante. If I don't go Kante, it'll probably be Rodri, because again, I want to keep the number of players from the first day as high as possible. And then who's going to wear the captain's hat for day one? I don't know. I don't know. I quite like Yamel. Maybe I'll put it on him just because I really like him as a player. Now, it says here the transfer cost is eight points, but I still have my chip, so of course it's not going to cost me anything really. And that is what happened in match day five and my plans for the semi-final match day six. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this silly little tournament. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>